May 2nd is going to go down as yet another frustrating cautionary tale against less than perfect shear and getting good photogenic storms. This day actually turned out to be a prolific tornado producer on the plains, but storm chasers were more than frustrated most of the day. From a weakness in the mid-levels to some backing winds aloft, we had plenty of issues with today's setup on the shear side, and it showed. Our initial cell looked loaded for bear, but it ended up having storms form off of its flank and even worse, couldn't fend off some pesky competitors to its south. Too many mouths to feed in one spot means storms go to poo. Now a quick primer on shear before I forget. Ideally you want your winds, especially in this part of the world, to gradually go from south and east at the surface to west or southwest in the mid and upper levels with increasing wind speeds with height. Any interruptions to that flow means storms look like you do when you get out of bed, completely unready to have a camera shoved in your face. That's right, looking at the profiles from May 2nd reveals a combination of winds not turning gradually with height and some weaknesses as you go up in the wind field. We haven't talked about hodographs much on this channel just yet, but just as a casual primer, if this line looks like your three-year-old nephew Elroy scribbled it, you're going to have a tough time getting those storms to be photogenic. Regardless, by evening, our shear improved dramatically. See the difference? And the storms, they're cooperating as well. This thing looked ready to drop a big one, but as our luck would have it on this day, storms began a slow process of lining out. That didn't stop this little devil from interrupting our dinner with tornadoes near amber. And as we followed this cell from dusk to dark, it produced three different tornadoes. The first was behind this wall of rain near amber. I'll be honest, our footage isn't the greatest on the last tornado because it was literally impossible to see. But behind that rain and amidst the power flashes and flashes of lightning, a tornado was doing EF1 damage in Northeast Norman. So remember kids, even if a day produces a lot of tornadoes, it doesn't mean you're going to have the best day. And when the shear is subpar, so shall your photos be almost certainly. Hey, it's the nature of the game. Until next time.